Hong Kong, a city of many firms, all of which display one of the four market structures, perfect competition, monopolistic competition, oligopoly, and monopoly. McDonald's, a firm that illustrates the qualities of monopolistic competition. Monopolistic competition is a type of imperfect competition where many firms compete to sell slightly differentiated products. Monopolistically competitive markets have no barriers to entry, but they only have a slight impact on market price. A firm that makes a profit in the short run eventually will break even in the long run because demand will decrease and average total cost will increase. This means that in the long run, a monopolistically competitive firm will make zero economic profit. Being in the fast food industry, McDonald's has always been trying to bring down other top competitors such as Burger King, KFC, and Subway. They do so by offering specialty products like Shake Shake Fries, Nut Cafes, Burgers, and so forth. They also remodeled the design of some of their restaurants by upgrading the looks and feels to make customers feel more inclined to eat there. Three, BCCW, one, two, three. Uh, this is the one, two, three phone company. Uh, this is BCCW. This is Smartone. This is China Mobile. An oligopoly is a market dominated by a few large suppliers. A large percent of the market is taken up by the leading firms. Oligopolies are price setters rather than price takers. Also, oligopolies can retain long-run abnormal profits. High barriers of entry prevent sideline firms from entering markets to capture ex excess profits. Another important characteristic of an oligopoly is interdependence between firms. As shown by phone companies in Hong Kong, each company must take into account the likely reactions of other companies in the market when making pricing and investment decisions. In an oligopoly market, firms compete for market share and demand from consumers in lots of ways. To do so, there is price competition and non-price competition. Price competition can involve discounting the price of a product to increase demand. For example, a phone company may reduce the monthly service charge of SIM cards for consumers. On the other hand, non-price competition focuses on other strategies for increasing market share. For phone companies, there are multiple ways to increase consumer demand. These include mass media advertising and marketing, store loyalty cards, financial services such as benefits for other products, extension for opening hours, and financial incentives to shop at off-peak hours. When one firm has a dominant position in the market, the oligopoly may experience price leadership. The firms with lower market shares may simply follow the pricing changes prompted by the dominant firms. In the case of phone companies, this leader will be PCCW. This fruit store, being one of the many fruit stores in Hong Kong, demonstrate the idea of perfect competition. The market perfect competition is one characterized by a large number of firms, where each firm is so small that one firm's change in output would not affect the market price of fruits, thus causing the firms to be price takers as opposed to price makers. Because of the large amount of firms present in perfect competition, this in turn means that there is completely free entry and exit from the industry. Furthermore, all goods are homogeneous with no differentiation, another reason to why firms in perfect competition do not have any price setting power. This fruit store is one that illustrates perfect competition, seeing as all the fruits are homogeneous with fruits sold in other stores. Possibly being one of the hundreds of fruit stores in Hong Kong, this fruit store takes the market price when selling their fruits, as their change in output would have no effect on the market price of fruits at all. Just like the rest of fruits in Hong Kong, this fruit store would not have a long-term profit because whatever opportunity that is more profitable would cause all the other firms to fall in the same action, leaving the firms with no long-term profit. However, that being said, Competition strategies include the ability to make discounted prices after a certain amount of purchases and etc. In conclusion, these three different real-world examples help to illustrate the market structures of perfect competition, monopolistic competition, and oligopoly.